Nicholas, I was doing laundry the other day and thought of you. Perhaps it was for the fact that I was actually washing my clothes and your lack of that certain talent. Thanks for smashing your bony elbow into my face. It has taken a full three weeks to heal, but I suffered through it all, especially after you apologized, like two weeks after it happened. Thank you for being that voice that would never be quiet. Your constant muttering has taught me that background noise isn't all that bad. Thank you for teaching me patience. Unfortunately, it's a class I think I'm failing at. Most of all, thank you for being the support that only you could be. Hey, I love you. Shay, wow, where do I even begin? First of all, I don't like sassafras very much. I'm most definitely allergic to her and I don't appreciate itchy eyes every time I visit, so we should put her in the basement or something the next time I come over. Second, thank you for always listening to my endless rants about the unnecessary unfairness of teenage life. As you have guessed by now, I find it very unnecessary and unfair. Third, thank you for showing me independency. Growing up with you in my life has shown me that I can't do it all on my own, but I can definitely do most of it. I love you so much, but maybe not as much of those heavenly chocolate truffles you possess, but undoubtedly a lot. Oh, and Matt, thanks for stealing her so she has less time for me. I love you, both of you, but I'm giving the rose to Shay because society makes this big deal about girls liking roses, so Matt, I'll just give you a hug or something. Honey, I picked Shay before you because, well, I like Shay's dogs better, but don't tell Sully I said that. Thank you for making sure I stay girly. Without you, I think I would be doomed. I mean, how long has it been since your toenails have seen the light of day? Thank you for being my motivation. I remember studying A&P with you once, back when you were just starting nursing. I was young and couldn't even pronounce the words, but believe me, I felt smart and want to be just like you. Thank you for giving me advice, all things regarding high school. We all know you are the go-to expert. Seriously though, Nico, I love you. A lot. I realize this is cliche, but that's only because it's true. Thanks for everything. Dad, I greatly admire your strength of will. Throwing away those Eagle CDs had to be one of the hardest things you've ever done. I hope that as I travel through life, I would have the same strength, that self-control. Thank you for never putting me in that crawl space in the basement. Thank you for teaching me the ways of wild squirrel hunting. As you probably know, that's going to take me far in life. Thank you for putting up with my love for horses, making my wish come true, and helping stack all those bales of hay. Thank you for giving me the freedoms I've needed to grow. I know I can be terrifying sometimes. My decisions aren't exactly thought out very well, but when I've needed you, you were always willing to listen. Then make me sit down and listen while you gave your fatherly advice. Most importantly, thank you for showing me who God is. I have a very strong belief that God just might like hockey. I love you, Dad. You have shown me what a real man is like. I hope I can always make you proud. Mommy, we have to save the best for last, right? As you can tell by now, I'm not really into the whole sappy lovey-dovey stuff, but with you, I think anything I say will make you cry. Thank you for teaching me how to clean. I could probably start my own business with all the experience I have. Trust me, at the end of the summer, our house is literally the cleanest in the state from top to bottom. Thank you for teaching me the proper way to make gravy. I would have no idea what to do with my life if I didn't know. Thank you for showing me that one must separate the roots on the marigolds before they can be planted. But really, thank you for loving me through it all. We've definitely had our ups and downs, but this year especially, we have bonded. I love our talks. Thank you for never getting impatient of waiting. Thank you for making it clear to me that life is not about us. It never was, but it's all about God. It's about how we can best live a life that will fulfill His will. Mama, Yatsi Bialu Blue. Grammy, Poppy, what can I say? Both of you are unstoppable. When I'm old, I want to be just like you. Still doing somersaults down Capitol Hill. Still cooking for guests on Sabbath. Still reaching out. Still being a missionary. Poppy, thank you for letting me drive the golf cart as often as I wanted. Grammy, thank you for showing me around the kitchen, vegan style. You have been a huge inspiration. I love you both. Grandma, I love the way you make borscht. I love that taste of Russia. Thank you for teaching me the skill of stirring chocolate chip cookie dough without using my hand, but rather a spoon. Thank you for teaching me how to play phase 10, up and down the river. Yes, game night at your house was always the highlight of the week. Thank you for all your extensive stories from your nursing days. The life lessons you have taught me will never be forgotten. I love you, Grandma.